loves so I have a tutorial for you guys today I wanted to do kind of this smoky eye using the new Laura Mercier palette this is called the editorial intense eye palette I got this in an influencer box it looks like this so this palette brings these six shades right here they're a little bit darker tones and then it brings some really pretty metallic tones which you will see in the tutorial the ones I end up using but it also what's cool about this is that they're all clay based for the eyeshadow to set you need to set it with this little powder right here which is a setting powder and this helps so that the eyeshadow literally doesn't budge because since it's clay based it's really unique These are the colors that come in the palette as you can use if you want like a more natural look you can use this like the lighter ones all over the eye and then use these as liners which would be really nice as well and then so this is black and black clay. And then this is the middle shade, which is called black and blue clay. And the last shade is called black and brown clay. To the metallic ones, you have this first shade, which is one of the shades I used in the tutorial. This next metallic color, which I also used in the tutorial, which is called Metallic Pewter. Lastly, you have this color right here, which is called, this color is called Metallic Rust. I'm really impressed with the pigment, but overall, I love how compact it is. It's really, really small, which is great for traveling. I feel like... Um, you can put this in your bag. Super nice packaging. I love Laura Mercier products. I think they're really good. They're a really good prestige brand and I really, really love it. So um, if you guys want to see how to get this um, little halo smoky eye, um, just keep watching. So taking that black color, you want to do a halo eye. So going to be applying the color mainly on the outer and inner part of the eyes. So you want to use kind of a precise brush. And then we're going to go in with a blending brush and we're just going to blend any hard edges. When you're using a darker color, you want it to be as seamless as possible. With a flat shader brush, you want to get that silver color and you want to pack it on the inner part of the eye. I'm going to go in with that silver pinky shade and I'm going to apply it over that gray color just to add more of a pop and to make it more silvery. I applied it with my finger because I wanted it to be a little more concentrated and um, they recommend that you use your finger as well. Now I'm going to go in with that copper color at the end and I'm just going to add that to my crease just to blend those shades better. And now is when you're going to go in with that setting powder um, and you're just going to put it all over again with that silver light shade and I'm just going to put it under my brow bone. Now using the concealer, you're just going to clean up because these are dark tones, they tend to um, fall out a little bit even though as you guys can see it didn't fall out a lot. Then I'm going to set that under eye and I'm going to basically do the same thing we did to the top, we're going to do to the bottom. So we're just going to, with a small detail brush, just going to add that black color and then again with the silver metallic shade. black liner and I'm going to basically do the same thing again we're just going to do the inner and outer part of the eye um, so we're leaving that white space which we're gonna then use the silver shade just lightly put it on the edge of the eye you don't want to put it inside you just want to put it out on the edge and you want to curl your lashes and put some mascara uh, I'm using these Elegance Lashes. They're super wispy, really pretty. And there's your finished look. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Bye.